in this camp setups video, I'm going to be showing you my swag setup. So I've just pulled up at this beautiful spot here at Fitzgerald Bay, um, pretty much right on the water. So I'm going to get out, have a little look around and start setting up my camp. Well, the first thing I do when I pull up is reach in and unplug my fridge from the car. And I run this around and plug it into my battery. Yeah, I'll show you in a minute anyway. <laughs> The awning's usually the first thing I'll set up uh, in case I want to sit in some shade. This place here is pretty shady but it's just tradition that I set my awning up first so I will do that now. Morning done. Now with my swag I pretty much just find a reasonably flat area of ground uh, sort of somewhere near the car doesn't really matter where and um, set this up next. I'm just gonna set it up right here uh, because this is a bit of a driveway um, and if I happen to get some people bombing through here later at night. I don't really want to set my swag out where I could possibly get run over. So <laughs> I think just right here, it's pretty flat here and I should be reasonably safe. <laughs> I usually keep two extra sand pegs in my awning peg bag and they're just for my swag um, because nine times out of ten I'm using sand pegs for no matter what type of terrain really except for hard dirt so awning and swag I use these pegs for and that's my swag done I actually keep a sleeping bag and pillow in my swag all the time so pretty much ready to go as soon as I set it up. And that's my bed for tonight. Alrighty, next couple of things to come out is my chair. favorite pieces of camping gear. <laughs> that can go around the front. Now I'll grab the solar panels out and get them on the battery just so it's charging while I've got sunlight. Alright, so now that I've made some room in here, I will show you my battery. So my battery has pretty much full. I had it on a charger at home, but um, so these on this battery, just plug in here. So the rest of my camping gear that I have in here is this container is pretty much my pantry and kitchen. And 
know, I've got a wind guard shield thing. Um, this is my camp stove. My water container. I can just go over there. And I usually pull my fridge out. Usually when I know I'm just going to be bush camping like this, I will bring my pop-up ensuite tent. Um, however, this spot is fairly private and there's a few trees around. Um, there are some people camping just over there. I could sort of just hear their voices, uh, so they're not that close. And there are plenty of trees around, so, you know, <laughs> whatever. I'm quite happy to sort of dig a hole somewhere and go to the toilet behind some trees. I absolutely love my swag. My dad bought this for me um, not long after I first moved over here to South Australia because most of the friends that I had were into camping and had all their camping gear. I had nothing. So my dad bought me this swag. Nowadays you can get all different designs. You can get massive swags. Um, you can get ones with the middle pole, you can get swags with the long middle pole so you don't really have to guy up the ends. But as long as this swag still works and still keeps me dry, I won't get rid of it. I love it. This is my swag pillow. It lives in here. And this is my swag sleeping bag. Um, I'm pretty sure this sleeping bag is actually my dad's too. I've kind of just stolen it. If you have any questions about my gear or anything, the way I set things up or why I do what I do or any questions or any comments at all, feel free to drop them below. If you liked this video, found it useful, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Until next time, see you later.